Hey everybody, it's Brooke. How you doing? <laughs> How's it going? It's two yay! <laughs> two. Two yay. It's two's yay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm renaming the days of the week. Why not? I like to say it. All right, so, um, had a lot of downloads this morning. There's a lot still purging within the collective. And as things come up, you're being reminded I'm going to love myself. Okay? This message is huge. Some of us have been called to walk. A hard journey. And I don't even want to say hard. Um, a very enlightened journey. And sometimes doing the right thing isn't easy. Um, I've had a lot of messages for the 144. Um, and really being that rainbow bridge, connecting the 5D with the 3D. So let's do a check-in with the collective. Let's see where um, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energies are at right now. Remember that we have both of those in us. Um, if you look at your birth chart, <laughs> if you look at your birth chart, um, you're going to be able to see if you have predominantly masculine energy, 222 on my clock, y'all. Everything's going to be okay. 222 has been really loud. Um, if you feel like you need to pause on the journey and do a check-in, I would suggest doing a past life regression. Kind of give you an idea of the karma that's being played out in this life. Dig into your birth chart. You can see some karma there. Or have your Akashic records read. For me, I like to go to my Akashic records. You know, this is going to be the book of life. Okay, this is going to tell you what you've done, the karma you've acc accumu accumulated, okay, and it's going to help you to be able to see where you're at on this healing journey. Some of you may be putting yourselves through unnecessary situations because the lessons have been learned or you need to clear that energy out. Okay? Clear that energy out so new things can be brought in. So Divine Feminine, I got Earth. Yesterday, um, didn't we get, the one that looked like Earth, or was this Friday? Either way, uh, a video or so back. We've got the same thing for Divine Feminine. So, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. So, this is a message that's been pretty loud and clear for me, too. And I'm using my Starseed deck. I don't know why I feel the need to tell you, but this is my Starseed deck. I love this. Um, so, really learning how to be human. Um, owning your mistakes. Owning your challenges. But also owning... Um, the way you change how you do things. So the first step is being aware of our behaviors, our coping mechanisms that we developed as a protection for us 
Okay, Divine Masculine, I get Baby Steps, Action, Follow Your Intuition Before It Makes Sense. Now, if you also look, this person's going through a portal. Yesterday, the messages were pretty clear about a portal being open. Okay, so really following your intuition as you take that timeline jump because I do feel that we're getting ready to change timelines again. Now what's going on underneath the surface with our higher self that we can't see? You're not alone. Okay, this is definitely going back to the twin flame journey. Um, what is meant for you? Till now, I always thought by on my own. I never really cared that you loved me, too. And now it tears me to the bones. How do I get you alone? There's going to be a lot of communication in the 5D with Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines. This is definitely going to be through music. So pay attention to repeating songs. Pay attention to what you're thinking about when those songs come on. Pay attention to what you're feeling when those songs come on. Because this is going to be a major indication of the communication that's coming in. So let's see what's going on in the headspace for this Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. One more, please. Okay. Divine Feminine, you're really being encouraged to stay in the now moment. Okay? If you are depressed, you're living in the past. If you're anxious, you're living in the future. When you are here and now in this moment, you are at peace. Okay? This is a 32 card, which breaks down to a 5. And I just noticed that it says past and future on it. So pay attention to those emotions that are coming up. They're a huge indicator of where you're at in your thinking. Divine Masculine, co-create. Um, you are really being called to go somewhere on this journey. You're meant to create and follow the intuition, the guidance that you're being given. You're meant to walk that, that rope. You're meant to walk that line and where you're going. Make sure you're following the intuition that's, that's coming in. What's going on underneath the surface that we can't see? It's gonna be yang energy. So this is going to be, you know, masculine. Did I say that right? I don't know. Let's see what's going on in the heart space. Yes, yin, feminine, yang, masculine. So... The moon just really moved into Leo. So Leo is really all about taking action, moving forward, being seen. Heaven, let your light shine down. Heaven, let your light shine down. Give me one more. See what's going on in the heart space for this divine feminine and divine masculine. Okay, so we got the same one. 
either yesterday or Friday. And this is a Merry Motive. And what stands out to me the most, okay, it's 10, 10 on my time, 10, 11. What stands out to me the most, it looks like we're in a forest, hiking, going on a journey, um, walking the path. The spiritual path is all about growing and expanding your soul, okay? Some of us have been called to to lay the foundations for where we're going because where we were, it wasn't working. It's 1044 on my clock, okay? 144, this message is specifically for you. Where we were going isn't going to be what we use moving forward. Tapping into the higher frequencies. This is a two card. Also feeling whole within oneself. Following the stars. Because the stars are hung up in a line. Follow the stars. And when I say follow the stars, I don't mean like, Holly weird. I mean like the planets and the stars. <laughs> Divine masculine. What's going on in the heart space? We've got a two card and roots of abundance. So really being able to ground in love, ground in harmony, ground in peace, ground in abundance okay these are our roots um we cannot see the top of the tree so as we are grounding that light 12 12 as we are grounding that light in um what's the saying the deeper the roots of the tree the higher the top reaches to heaven. So really becoming centered and grounded on the solid foundations is going to launch you forward. The uh, more solid you are with the foundations, your values, the, the, the higher the top of the tree is going to go. Heaven, let your light shine down. Okay, what's going on underneath the surface? And I've got Divine Matrix. This is a 44 card. I've been getting uh, fours a lot. Um, you know, four. This is a master number. You know, four in your, the fourth house in your birth chart is going to have to do with um, your roots, um, mother, um, ancestors, things like that. So, really being able to, to communicate, being that rainbow bridge to communicate to the unknown because this is going to be key and really being able to tap into that higher heart. What's a man got to do to be totally locked up by you? So divine feminines that are that are really uh, looking to call in their divine masculines, you gotta really know what needs to be done to get you totally locked up. What's gonna happen to allow your heart to be ripped wide open? 1444. Let's see what's going on underneath the surface that can't be seen. Okay, there's some resistance with that one. 
Got to get crystal clear. <laughs> What's going on underneath the surface? What needs to be released? What did I just say? What do you need to have to be totally locked up with the ultimate high, high vibrational love? What fears? Because fear is a liar. It's an illusion. It's a spell. <laughs> Work through your fears. <laughs> I mean. Oh, my word. Okay, so what is holding you back? It's connected to you. Those fears were in the... The moon is now in Leo, so there could be fears connected about really being seen for who you are. Taking that mask off. The mask is what you wear and what you show people. Okay? So really stepping into that, that piece of knowing who you are. And being okay if people don't give a, like, if, if they don't see you for who you are and not giving a fuck about what they think. Because we only have one judge, and that's going to be God. And as long as you're walking this path and you're doing right and you're putting good into the world... Just know you're not... You're not alone. I'm going to make this place your home. Settle down. It'll all be clear. Okay? Don't pay no mind to those demons. They feed, fill you with fear. Troubles, they might drag you down. If you get lost, you can always be found. Just know you're not alone. Okay? Know you're not alone. So, for Divine Masculine, what's going on underneath the surface that's hitting? A fiery climax approaches. And this is going to be the full moon in Aries. So... Get ready. As we make this timeline jump, more gears are going to fall into place. More people, situations that are getting you one step closer to where you're meant to be going. Um, let's see. Let me get some advice for Divine Feminine. Okay, let go of anger. Let go of anger. Let go of negative self-talk. Um, tap back into that childlike love. Tap back into that childlike innocence. Tap back into... Believing. Tap back into believing. So definitely let go of the way you're talking to yourself. Let's get some advice for Divine Masculine. Let go of past anger. Some advice for Divine Masculine. Give me one more so it's balanced. Okay. Divine Masculine really needs to get clear 
about the love and stop running from himself because this is the king. And as you can see, the king's not looking to the future. The king is looking straight ahead. You came into the light and I stayed strong. I tried to love you like you love you. And I can't bring myself to move on to anyone. Can you tell me what it feels like? Okay, you need to write down what it feels like. Can you tell me how we get it right? Getting crystal clear about what it is that is gonna bring peace and harmony into this union. Wow, this was pretty amazing. <laughs> Definitely had a strong divine masculine presence coming through. Um, I love you guys, and I'm sending you all the love and all the strength and courage. Leo reminds us to have strength and courage to step into who we're meant to be. Leo reminds us to take that mask off and step into the king and queen energies. Can you tell me how we get it right? It is 22.22 on my clock. All right. I love you guys. Happy two. Yay. <laughs> See you soon.